Few of us can resist the sight of men digging a hole, or the hole itself for that matter. Well, here in the shadow of Snowdon is one 1,400 feet deep. But no ordinary hole, this is the world's largest slate quarry. And the work here, which hasn't changed much over the years, is as fascinating as you might expect. The first stage in the quarrying of Dinowick slate is the highly skilled task of blasting. The hole into which the charge is inserted is drilled to a depth of seven yards. If the explosion is too violent, the slate, despite its remarkable toughness, will splinter instead of being detached whole. So the charge has to be carefully worked out. Apart from other explosives, 90 tons of gunpowder are used every year in blasting operations. When people talk about the rugged splendor of North Wales, little do they realize just how rugged. is, of course, still in great demand for roofing because of its wearing qualities. Its intense hardness is due mainly to the tremendous natural pressures of time, millions of years. Yet, unlike all other stone, it can be split long ways into smooth, flat layers, each one as hard as the original block. The slate is transported by the quarry's own railway system to the factory for trimming by hand and machine. Surprisingly enough, circular saws cut with greater accuracy and considerably less wastage, which generally is as high as 80%. With this traditional method of splitting, it's possible to divide a slab one inch thick into nine separate slates. In this space age, it's hard to keep track of new scientific developments. But here, time seems to have stood still. The slate they produce lasts for well over a century, and a century ahead, no doubt they'll still be working these quarries in much the same way.